of these products and creating new revenue streams for the algae industry. In addition, public education and outreach campaigns can help to raise awareness about the impact of algae on the environment and promote strategies for mitigating these impacts. This can include F. RTS to reduce nutrient inputs from households and businesses, as well as promoting sustainable land use practices that help to protect and preserve aquatic ecosystems. RTS to reduce nutrient inputs from households and businesses, as well as promoting sustainable land use practices that help to protect and preserve aquatic ecosystems. Finally, international cooperation and collaboration are essential for mitigating the impact of algae on the environment, as many of the factors that contribute to the growth of harmful algal blooms, such as climate change and nutrient pollution, are global in nature. By working together to develop and implement effective strategies for mitigating the impact of algae on the environment, we can he. Such as climate change and nutrient pollution, are global in nature. By working together to develop and implement effective strategies for mitigating the impact of algae on the environment, we can he. P to create a more sustainable and resilient planet for future generations. Another important strategy for mitigating the impact of algae on the environment is the implementation of effective monitoring and management programs. This can include regular monitoring of water chew. Liddy in the presence of harmful algal blooms, as well as the development of management plans for addressing these blooms when they occur. Liddy in the presence of harmful algal blooms, as well as the development of management plans for addressing these blooms when they occur. Effective management strategies for harmful algal blooms can include the use of physical and chemical treatments to control the growth of algae as well as the implementation of public health advisor. S to warn people of potential health risks associated with exposure to harmful algal blooms. S to warn people of potential health risks associated with exposure to harmful algal blooms. In addition, the development of sustainable aquaculture practices can help to reduce the impact of algae on the environment. By utilizing sustainable techniques for raising fish and shellfish, such a integrated multi-trophic aquaculture, we can create more balanced and healthy aquatic ecosystems that are less susceptible to the growth of harmful algal blooms. Integrated multi-trophic aquaculture, we can create more balanced and healthy aquatic ecosystems that are less susceptible to the growth of harmful algal blooms. Finally, it is important to recognize the role that individual actions can play in mitigating the impact of algae on the environment. Simple actions, such as reducing the use of fertilizers and other nutrient-rich products, properly disposing of pet waste, and avoiding the use of harmful chemicals, can all help to reduce the amount of nutrients that enter aquatic ecosystems and contribute to the Nutrient-rich products, properly disposing of pet waste, and avoiding the use of harmful chemicals, can all help to reduce the amount of nutrients that enter aquatic ecosystems and contribute to the growth of harmful algal blooms. Another important strategy for mitigating the impact of algae on the environment is to promote the restoration and protection of wetlands which are important habitats for many species of algae and O. Her aquatic organisms. Wetlands play a critical role in nutrient cycling and water filtration, and can help to reduce the amount of nutrients that enter aquatic systems and contribute to the growth O. Her aquatic organisms. Wetlands play a critical role in nutrient cycling and water filtration, and can help to reduce the amount of nutrients that enter aquatic systems and contribute to the growth of harmful algal blooms. In addition, the development of green infrastructure, 
such as rain gardens and green roofs, can help to reduce the amount of stormwater runoff that enters aquatic systems and contributes to the grout. Of harmful algal blooms. By utilizing green infrastructure, we can create more sustainable and resilient urban environments that help to protect and preserve aquatic ecosystems. Of harmful algal blooms. By utilizing green infrastructure, we can create more sustainable and resilient urban environments that help to protect and preserve aquatic ecosystems.